So, finally we have the official release date for the second official trailer for Godzilla x Kong The New Empire. And it is also confirmed that we will get our first look at Titan Shimo in the trailer. The trailer will feature several other titans as well, including the giant spider called Skyla, Titan Doug as well as the queen of the monsters herself, Mothra. Before I go into more details, I just want to make a quick and brief statement. Talking about comic book movies, games and TV shows is my biggest passion. If you want me to continue on this journey and bring you more such awesome contents, I just want you guys to do me a small and simple favor. Please spend one second of your time to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It truly truly means a lot. Okay, now let us come back to the main topic of this video once again. So, the second trailer for Godzilla x Kong The New Empire will drop at the Super Bowl event on 11th of February. Although not confirmed officially, this has been reported by multiple credible insiders and websites. And it makes perfect sense because the movie comes out on the 29th of March so the Super Bowl would be the ideal time for legendary studios to start off their marketing for the movie. Let me also remind you that, the Super Bowl will also showcase the first official trailer for Deadpool 3. So, we are just a little over a couple of weeks away from the release of two exciting trailers which are heavily anticipated by people across the globe. Now, the trailer has already been shown to certain insiders at a recent fan screening event. Fortunately, I managed to talk to a few of my sources who have some connections to a couple of those insiders present at the event. Here are some of the things which they revealed regarding the trailer. The most important revelation they made was that, Titan Shimo, the second main antagonist of the movie will be making an appearance in the trailer. However, it will be a very brief little appearance of just around 3 seconds at the very end of the trailer where she would be seen running on his four legs somewhere inside the hollow earth. So there you have it. We will finally be getting an official first look at Titan Shimo for the very first time. The second most interesting revelation made was that we would see Kong using his gauntlet to generate a large burst of electricity. Yes, you heard it right. This gauntlet is not just a simple mechanical reinforcement to support his forearm. It in fact gives Kong a very unique ability to generate an electric blast. Now, this is something that is directly inspired from the Godzilla vs. King Kong movie of 1962 where Kong had a very unique ability to absorb electric energy and also discharge the same energy to fight against other titans. We will also get to see a short preview of Godzilla's battle with Titan Skyla at the Roman Colosseum. Titan Skyla if you do not remember is the giant oversized spider which made a small appearance at the end of King of the Monsters. We already witnessed a small preview of Godzilla standing inside the iconic Roman Colosseum in one of the official TV spots that dropped like a week ago. However, in the second official trailer, we are going to get a quick preview of the actual fight between Godzilla and Skyla. Other than that, the trailer is said to feature a lot of gorgeous shots inside the Hollow Earth. Coming to some other information, it is now officially confirmed that Godzilla x Kong The New Empire will be rated PG-13. I see a lot of people complaining about it and they say they wanted this movie to be rated R. Well, let me remind you that Godzilla Minus One which is now widely regarded as one of the best monster movies made in the history of cinema was also rated PG-13. And that movie had quite a dark and gritty feel to it and even contained some really violent and gruesome scenes. Matt Reeves' The Batman which is considered to be one of the best modern day comic book movies is also rated PG-13. So, I do not see any credible reason for complaining so far as Godzilla x Kong's PG-13 rating is concerned. Now, I am going to bring to your attention a very interesting detail that has come to light and it might actually trigger some of you out. Well, I recently spoke with a very credible source of mine who was present at the most recent test screening of the movie. According to him, Shimo is clearly referred to as the mother of all titans several times in the movie. I know some of you might be triggered by this and find it quite awful. Personally speaking, being a hardcore fan of Godzilla and the Monsterverse in general, Shimo's gender honestly does not make the slightest difference in my excitement for the movie. Shimo is literally a giant oversized titan who was responsible for causing the freaking Ice Age. How does the gender of such a larger-than-life monster even matter in the bigger scheme of things? This is clearly not a case where a fan-favorite character is being gender-swapped similar to what Marvel and DC has been doing over the last few years. So, I suggest everyone complaining about Titan Shimo's gender to chill out. You guys really need to reserve your judgments until you are actually done watching the movie. Another very important revelation made by my source is that Titan Shimo is being considered by Legendary Studios to be the next big character within the Monsterverse. There is a huge possibility that she will not die off at the end of the movie and will be making a lot of appearances in future movies set within the Monsterverse. To understand this in a bit more detail, I have to give you a quick little background of the whole matter. 
As you all know that Godzilla and Kong are the two most iconic and fan-favorite characters within the MonsterVerse. If I had to pick one out of these two titans, I think Godzilla probably beats Kong by a small margin so far as their worldwide popularity is concerned. Godzilla is like the poster boy of Legendary Studios' MonsterVerse. However, the problem with the big G is that Legendary Studios still do not have the full rights and ownership of the character. The character of Godzilla is being licensed by Toho to Legendary Studios. So, Legendary Studios have some restrictions and limitations in portraying the big G on the big screen. So, they are apparently looking at Titan Shimo as their own version of Godzilla as the character is fully made created and owned by them. I know this might upset some Godzilla fans, but there is in fact nothing to worry about. Godzilla is not going anywhere. He is always going to be an integral part of the MonsterVerse. I personally see this as a major win for the MonsterVerse because the franchise honestly needs more iconic titans in order for it to expand into a major cinematic universe. So, that is all I have to share in this video. What do you think about all these new details? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.